Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 18th to the 24th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you are interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below, and I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading. All right, let me just make sure everything is in frame. Fantastic. Now, before we turn the cards around, let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, you have to do three things. You have to like, comment, and subscribe. And when you comment, put a butterfly in the comment box below, because that way I know that you would like to, you know, be entered to win a free reading and are not just commenting because some people don't want to be entered. All right. With that said, good luck to everyone. And I will be drawing the winner on Sunday. Yeah. So let's see here what spirit has to say. So this is surface reversed. It's very interesting because I was looking at the cards before and this one just absolutely came out to me and it said, there's something that you, that is being brought to the surface that you keep pushing down. So spirit is saying here, and I think it's just hysterical that this card should pop out, you know, while, while doing the reading, not just meditating on everything. So something is coming to the surface that we keep on pushing down. It's like, no, I need to ignore this. No, it's not a big deal. No, no, you know, I'm making something out of nothing. You're not, you're not. It's surfacing for a reason. Don't keep on pushing it down. It moves us then to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is self mastery. And this is the solar plexus chakra. So we are having the energy of ourself, of our power, of our tenacity coming forward. We need to trust our gut. That's where our solar plexus chakra is located and moving forward in balance of self, but in awareness and power of self is also going to be very important. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading. This is the star card. So this is illusions and delusions. Okay. This can also be Aquarius energy time frame, January 20th to February 18th. But when the star comes up, as something to be mindful of. It can be that we're not in alignment with what we're put on this earth to do, which sometimes like seems like, oh, okay, yeah, that's small, thank you. But looking at ourselves and saying, do I feel completely stressed out? Do I feel completely overwhelmed? Do I feel like, you know, all my nerves are just on edge? And that's a sign of us not being in alignment with ourselves. We can also be going through a time of awakening, which kind of throws everything out of alignment and makes us feel totally stressed. And then we'll have a little rebirth, and we'll be like, oh, okay, I got it. 
comes back to being stressed, a little rebirth. Okay, I got it now. No, it comes back to being stressed. And then we'll have this big rebirth, re rebirth, rebirth. There we go. I can speak this big sense of this is me. And then all of a sudden our wishes start to come forward again. We start to look at our dreams, but this can also be telling us be very mindful of seeing things as they are, not as either we want them to be or somebody else wants them to be. So that is going to be important here as well. Looking at things openly and honestly for ourselves, giving us time. We can want to be very reactionary during this week, giving ourselves a beat, stepping back, grounding ourselves, seeing ourselves, saying what we want and looking at something and saying, okay, you know, am I reacting that in the right way? Am I being too reactionary? That's going to be important. Also, if we have Aquarius energy in our chart, Aquarius energy in our life, that part of our personality, that person, they might not be our favorite person this week. We have the six of swords reversed. We want things to move faster than they're going to. We have the king of swords, the six of pentacles, the three of swords, and the nine of wands. We then have the ace of swords i love that because we're taking that gift because we have the king of swords there we have the hangman reversed we're doubting the way we see things we feel different and we're like why can't i be like everybody else the seven of cups the king the knight of emotions which i love that card i just think it's so pretty that's water sign energy pisces scorpio cancer the high priestess the chariot reversed so we have the high priestess reversed, the chariot reversed, the seven of cups reversed, and we have temperance, which is Sagittarius energy reverse. Chariot energy is also cancer energy. So time frame for chariot is June 21st to July 22nd. Time frame for temperance is, is November 22nd to December 21st. So what's really interesting here is that we're learning the power of our voice during this week. And we've had experiences coming up to this week that have told us, you know, embrace your voice, embrace what it is that you want, look at things more, more fiercely for yourself. It's like, this is what I will, you know, take from the world. This is what I won't take from the world. Again, I always want to clarify that this isn't us being that narcissistic, me, 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 me type of person. This is us being a very confident, assured, determined, you know, logical present person within our lives, standing in, in judgment of ourselves saying, okay, you know, step back, look at the, look at the different angles of this. How do I need to move forward? We are crowned by wanting to move too quickly. Okay. With the six of swords reverse, we want to move super, super quickly. We want to go after things super, super, super fast. The way is a little bit blurry. All right. So that's why spirit is saying, step back, think about it, then act. We have very strong air sign energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So if we're born on the cusp with Gemini, if we have air sign energy in our chart, that comes through very powerfully. Now, we Aquarius energy, right, right here, the energy to be mindful of is also an air sign energy. But what we're seeing for ourselves is the sense of how do I move forward towards my dreams without letting delusions or, you know, assumptions guide me, standing in the fact of what I know, of how I need to, you know, see things for myself and how I need to move forward. We are going to have things starting to come into balance, which is interesting that we have the six of pentacles here, things coming into balance, but we have temperance. We have bigger balance reversed. So there is a real sense of things coming into balance monetarily, things coming into balance when it comes to like hard work, the effort you put in, you start to see the rewards you get out of it equating well. But temperance here being reversed, is that we feel a little bit out of harmony with ourselves, a little bit, you know, overwhelmed, doubtful, questioning. We can also have trouble with Sagittarius energy. Again, time frame November 22nd to December 21st. But the sense of we don't feel like we should be questioning. We don't feel like we should be looking deeper into something. We can feel guilty about that. Oh, I should just take it at face value. And Spirit's like, why? Dive deeper. Sagittarius energy is naturally curious. Now, Sagittarius energy can also be very distrusting in a negative sense, but connecting with people, having conversations, everybody doesn't have to think the same way. That's going to be really important. And we're really going to get excited about that. With the three of swords, a heartbreak and pain and disappointment is coming forward. A sense of, oh my gosh, can I? 
you know, can I move through this pain? Can I move through this hurt? Can I stop being defined by, by this heartbreak? And the heartbreak comes from a sense of like having to fight one battle after another, after another, after another. So these heartbreaks aren't going to be like other people say like, oh, you know, this person broke up with me or this happened, but it's been this perpetual sense and state of, I have to defend, I have to defend, I have to defend. We're really quite done with that. And we don't want to be in that energy anymore. So knowing that we are moving forward from that, but that it's a transformation that's going to be a little bit uncomfortable because it's what we've known for so long. We are going to see with the Ace of Swords, we're embracing our voice. We're taking this gift of tenacity, of of vibrancy, but also of fierceness. Remember, the swords are the only weapon in the tarot. So when we have the Ace of Swords come forward and the King of Swords, it's I am taking my weapon forward. But I also had to learn how to yield it. Back in medieval times, you started off wielding a wand, you know, wielding a staff before you started wielding a sword. It's not a natural thing. Some people can be, yes, very, very talented at it, but it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of training to be good at a sword. And it was also very much the sense of, of prestige, of wealth, of, of power back in medieval times. So when we get the Ace of Swords coming forward and the King of Swords, it's like, I'm stepping into my power. I know my worth. I'm not going to be nice because I have a weapon, you know, at my, at my side all the time. So I can stand in the truth of what I'm saying and, and back it up with the force of my being and self. It's not bullying people into believing us, but it is, you know, embracing the fierceness of knowing that I stand in strength. We question the way that we see things. This is going to be a time as you've had many of these times, Taurus, where you're like, why can't I just be like everybody else? If you found this channel, if you're part of this family, first of all, I love you. And I'm so glad you're here. And if you have just found us, I'm so glad you stumbled upon us because here, this is, it isn't quite frankly, well, it's kind of like the land of misfit toys. And I mean that in the best possible way. I love that movie, but we, we don't fit in and we've always thought it was us. And yes, it is us in the sense that we were made not to fit in, but there's nothing wrong with you. And this is what spirit wants you to know. You don't have to change your dreams to fit other people's, you know, ideas. It is embracing our dreams, embracing our desires to embrace ourselves. We've given up on our dreams. We felt overwhelmed by them. Now we think, okay, foolish or, you know, silly. I was naive. I was this, I was that. It's like, no, you still get to have those dreams. They might come forward in a different way, but holding forward what is sacred to you and moving forward in that energy is just going to be so exciting. It's going to be so beautiful. It's going to be so life-changing. Do not take everybody else's advice over the instinct and understanding of your own heart, soul, and self. The high priestess reversed means that we are doubting the way that we're connecting with the universe. The veil is being lifted from our eyes and we're like, well, you know what? I really like that veil, pulling it forward. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we're ready for a spiritual regrowth and sometimes we're not. So looking at this here with the high priestess, being able to say, this is what I want for my life. This is how I'm moving forward for me. This is where I need to be this is my spiritual connection with myself, that is going to be an important thing. That's going to be something that's coming to the surface again that we're squishing down. You know, it's the surface reversed here again from spirit coming forward. Emotions can run amok. We can feel emotionally drained, emotionally overwhelmed. We're going to come to this week one or two ways. Emotionally drained, excuse me, emotionally drained and needing to, to rein ourselves in. Or we're going to find that some sort of conflict comes up that is emotionally very overwhelming to us. So being mindful about this is going to be important. We can also have trouble and a bit of difficulty with cancer energy or people with a lot of cancer in their chart because they're moving forward just off of feeling, just off of, you know, I don't wanna say instinct because this isn't instinct. This is like, this is just somebody who has so many emotions all the time and they're exhausting that we don't wanna deal with that. We can then resort to being too logical. We can also feel that way about ourselves. I'm being too, too emotional. I'm being too reactionary to things. I need to just move to pure logic. We'll go from one extreme to another, to the other, to the other. And it will be a intense thing. It will be an overwhelming thing. So being aware of that is going to be important during this time. Again, we can have difficulty with cancers here, with Sagittarius's, but also with the sense of finding balance within ourselves, of, of seeing the harmony of what we want to build forward and how we want to move forward for us. It moves us then 
to our subconscious spirit message, which is balance, which is what we were just talking about, being able to find balance in ourselves, in our lives, in what we desire for us, that's going to be really, really important. And holding balance as, as one of the keys to our existence is going to be a powerful thing. It moves us to our heart chakra, and this is our inner child. Our inner child is going to be coming forward quite a lot here, Taurus. And we just need to have fun with, with ourselves. We just need to, you know, embrace laughter and joy and, you know, play that game of tag. If, if a little kid is like, oh, play a game of tag with me. I mean, like, don't go up to random strangers. That's weird. But you know what I'm saying, right? It's like, play that game of tag, laugh, put on your favorite movies, and just have a good time. Make sure that it's centered around lighthearted laughter. That is going to be really important. It moves us then to the energy to be mindful of, waiting for the next shoe to drop, waiting for the next fight to come. Mm -mm. You're giving your energy away before it's even proven that you need to. So be mindful about this. It moves us then to our subconscious tarot message. And this is the Eight of Cups reverse. The Eight of Cups reverse is just like surface. You know, there's something here that we need to act upon that we're pushing away. We're pushing it away. And spirit's like, why? Why are we pushing this away? Why are we pushing us away from ourselves, what we want, what we're looking for, the way that we need to move forward? There's something that we need to walk away from and we need to choose us. And it's going to be something where we could feel mean, we could feel like we were a bully, we can feel overwhelmed, but we need to choose us. It's like, I choose me. For the first time in my life, I choose me. And I'm standing up for myself. Now, when we first do this, we might fumble, we might, you know, think, oh, I should have done that differently, I should have done that differently. Yeah, now you know. Don't beat yourself up over it. Now I know. Now I'm moving forward. Okay, good. Lesson learned. Every day, every moment is a lesson. Connect with it. Okay. All right. Taurus, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Taurus, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.